Ask Reddit. What's your I tried to do a nice thing, but it ended in disaster, story. I found a guy seizing out on the side of the road in a small town once it looked like he fell and broke his glasses. He also had some blood running down the side of his head. So I called the ambulance for him because I didn't know what to do. The next day, a lady at one of my regular stops came up to me and said why did you call so and so an ambulance yesterday? Now he has to pay for it. He's a tough guy and would have been fine. It happens all the time. It was midwinter and some random guy was twitching on the street. WTF was I supposed to do? Just keep driving. I stood up for an old woman on the bus and she spent the whole ride yelling at me because she is not old and does not require a seat. How dare I think that she can't stand by herself. Edit. Not sure if it counts as a disaster, but it was very uncomfortable and sorry if my English is bad. Most old people who I have seen in this situation just go something along the lines no need you. I'm fine. But thank you for the thought and then stand. Yelling at people for doing. That is just encouraging them not to be mindful of others in the future. Invited my elderly mom to live with us. She was widowed and had some emotional health problems. Short version. She got paranoid and started hating us for controlling her. She moved out, wrote me out of her will, and I never saw her again. After 15 months she died. When I was a kid I went into my mum's room and found our cat looking up at a small bird chilling on the rim of one of my mum's bags hanging from a cupboard only like a meter away. I had no idea how that bird got in the room. I panicked and went to try and chew the bird out through the window before my cat got to it. The bird didn't move when I got close, so I picked up the bag it was perched on and tipped it out of the window, at which point the poor bird dropped two stories onto the ground. I stared back. Confused as to why it didn't fly off. It turns out it was injured and my mum had put it in the bag for it to heal or something and neglected to tell me that bird's death will forever be on my conscience. When my little cousin was 3 years old he loved Mickey Mouse and one day we were having him and the rest of the family for breakfast. I decided to make him special pancakes shaped like Mickey Mouse's head and use blueberries and whipped cream to make it sorta of resemble his face. I was so excited to see the smile on his face when I served him those pancakes, but instead he yelled out, I hate Mickey. Apparently he and Mickey had a falling out that I was unaware of and I had to go make him regular pancakes because he refused to eat the Mickey ones. Honestly, I thought it was strange because when I was a kid probably would have been more eager to eat Mickey if I hated him. My beloved father was dying. I lived out of the town my father and my other three siblings lived, but I was the only one who could take the time to move in with him and take care of him. Even though my brother and his wife were actually living upstairs from him, he did not want to go to a nursing home, so I moved a spare bed into the corner of the living room and became his caretaker. He developed dementia and turned angry and depressed. He became incontinent. He was also a hoarder so when he died, I was in charge of getting the house ready to sell, which is another story, but my brother turned against me because I had to get him out of the house so we could sell it. My other two siblings turned against me for their own reasons. So, my father died thinking I was out to get him, and the rest of them have not spoken to me since then. 7 years. I wasn't the one that tried to do the nice thing, but was the victim. We had our in-laws staying over a few months back for a week or so. The sink in the bathroom was getting a bit slow to drain. No big deal. Probably just clogged up with air and sludge. It happens. It just needs the trap emptying on the U-bend under the sink. Literally a 2 minute job. Before I could get round to doing it, though, my mill decided to try and help out by fixing it herself. Rather than undoing and cleaning the trap, though, she went out and bought some drain cleaner acid stuff. The first I heard about this was when she told me she tried it, but it hadn't worked. Heh, no problem, I thought. I'll just do it properly. So I took the trap off, expecting the usual sludgy mess of hair, but the trap's clean and shiny. Uh oh. So basically, the drain cleaner had dissolved the gunk enough to shift it from the trap and the blockage had moved further down the pipe. I tried 3 more doses of acid, but still no go. In fact, the sink was properly clogged by this point. So in the end I had to undo all the pip york and pretty much take the bathroom apart, thankfully just short of having to rip the bath out to get to the clogged pipe. 
A simple two minute job turned into about three hours of crawling around on a filthy wet bathroom floor. I know she was trying to help, but I could have throttled her for that. Trying to catch and relocate a mouse. Didn't want to hurt it, but long story short. I dropped the stove on it. Gruesome. On a rainy day, I gave a ride to a hitchhiker near campus that looked like a typical university student. I normally don't pick up hitchhikers, but it was hard to ignore him standing there in the pouring rain. I drove beyond where I was headed to get him to his stated destination, a place off the beaten path. But then he would not get out of the car. He just kept staring and telling me that he was lonely and needed someone to be with. I finally told him that we were headed to the police station if he didn't get out and that did the trick. If it hadn't worked, we probably would come to blows because I could see he was building up to something. I saw a spider in my house. Went to get a cup and index card to set him outside as I always do. Fucker didn't want to go in the cup and I ended up stepping on him by accident. I was trying dude. I sent flowers anonymously to a woman I used to babysit for with just a bible verse on the card. She was a single mom. I knew she had been through a lot to rest out her life, and I guess I was just in the mood to offer a random act of encouragement. I was 18 at the time. I got a call from the flower company when they arrived. The woman was freaking out and wanted to know who the sender was. I refused to release that information because I didn't want to make it about me. In the years since, I have pieced together what the incident must have seemed like from her perspective. Her ex was abusive and she fought hard to get away from him. She must have thought that he had located her and was beginning to stalk her. Who knew flowers could come off so sinister? But I understand these things much better now and I'm so ashamed. Worked at an arcade prize counter. Summer camp of kids came rolling in. They had tickets for unlimited games, but they couldn't get any points for the prize counter, which the counselors failed to tell the kids, so we had to keep explaining it. Some of the poor kids were super excited, because they had won a jackpot. It was equal parts annoying and heartbreaking. Well, one kid showed up and was devastated. He'd been working all day, to get enough points for this little clip on Fox Plush. He was inconsolable. I decided to use my own points to get it for him because I felt like that was a toy I would have liked as a little kid and I'd also probably be equally devastated if I couldn't have it and because I was well and truly annoyed with the counselors at that point. I told him to not tell anyone. He came back later in tears because the counselor confiscated the toy. To have the toy and have it taken away probably felt worse than not getting the toy at all. I felt awful. About a year ago, I was going out with this girl, who was extremely self-conscious and sensitive. She would often ask me questions such as am I fat, or would you love me if I was heavy? To these I would answer yes, and move on because I found her questions strange, considering she was quite skinny. But one day, she asked me one of these questions and it all went terribly wrong. The conversation went something like this, however it's mostly paraphrased as I don't remember everything that was said. Huh, would you still treat me the same if I were to gain weight? I'm quite fat, and you still hug me, me, even if you were there'd be more of you anyway, so it wouldn't even be that bad right? After this she basically snapped. She said something along the lines of I can't believe you'd say that to me. I thought you loved me, you're a terrible person. I can't believe I fell in love with you after her small breakdown she pushed me and ran off. I never understood why I got so upset. I just wanted to make her feel better considering she never liked it when I told her that she wasn't actually fat. Once when I was young, 6 maybe, my mum got home from shopping. I went to her car with my friend and picked up a bag to carry inside as a surprise. I lifted it up and boom. The bag broke from the weight two big glass jars of coffee grain spilled everywhere. I was so embarrassed, scared and upset that my mum would yell at me. Keep in mind this was expensive coffee up to $26 per jar. Well she never got mad, was a little disappointed, but she told me a few years later that everyone makes mistakes, but the thing that matters is you were being nice, even if it didn't go to plan. I was watching some people playing a carnival game where everyone is sitting down throwing ping pong balls into holes to make their avatars race when I looked down and saw a $50 note falling. Must have fallen out of one of the player's pockets. So I picked it up, nudged an early teen, and tell him he dropped it. He takes it, has a quick word to his friends and they hurry away. Then I look up 
and the lady in the seat next to him has a concerned look on her face and her family start looking towards the ground. I put two and two together and realized I gave it to the wrong person. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to be entered into our iMac giveaway.